Hey, this is Bryce, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Jack of Trades. This is a channel update video. Uh, there's been a lot going on with RC on our channel. Um, we've been doing speed runs and more speed runs and more speed runs. We've been doing some custom builds. We've got giveaways coming up, and we've got new cars showing up in the shop. Uh, so let's get into it. Um, let's talk about speed runs. <laughs> there are some really, really fast people out there, um, and we're not one of them. <laughs> Uh, I am stuck at 75 with this car. Uh, despite putting in a 3S uh, system, I cannot get past that 75 mile an hour. And it's not because of the motor, it's just other mechanical issues that I'm having. Uh, I keep losing my tires. I glue them up and they blow the glue. Um, gone through bodies and back to this body, but I might go to a different body. Uh, I got some cool footage of this thing doing an ollie. Um, at 75, actually no, that was only at 73, um, so I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of almost at my wit's end, but I'm, I'm so addicted to it that I can't stop. There's been some great runs out there, I uh, see here, there's guys getting up to 89, there's one run at 107 miles an hour, which no one's talking about for some reason, um, but I think 90 to 107 is, is where the, uh, the um, record holders are going to be. Um, I think right now we do hold the high speed for brush category at 58 miles an hour, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone comes in and snags that away because there, there's guys that know more about this stuff than I do. <laughs> um, but we'll keep playing. We're having fun. We're learning stuff about the car. It's a great platform. Uh, I would love to have another one of these as just a track car uh, just because I, I really like how they handle. Um, so it, it's a cool platform, at least the, uh, the SRX is, I don't know, the, the kind of um, entry level is, has its quirks right, um, as we all know and love. <laughs> um, let's get into my custom build. So here we have it, body and all. Um, it's not done, but it's getting closer. I got the body mounted. Um, it's actually pretty clean. Um, I get okay steering. Uh, I do have a little bit of wheel scrub, but that's kind of hard to avoid when your body sits this close to the tires. Um, I think for fun run, it does great. Um, I'd like to do a little more customization. On the back here, you can kind of see the rear of the chassis, so I was thinking about maybe putting in a bumper, um, similar to how there's one in the front. I'd like to do something with this door, maybe make it radio controlled. But it's a cool little car, um, and we got some footage of it that we'll share later on in the video. Um, so. It's, it's been a blast for having only, um, I started this less than a week ago and <laughs> here we are with almost a finished product. Actually, I should have started with this first. Um, so as you may or may not know, we're giving away a brand new Losi Pro Moto MX. So this is something we're doing to help raise money for Trey and his family over at All RC Fun. Um, his daughter was, was, was attacked by a dog a couple weeks ago. Um, it was, it was bad enough where she ended up in the hospital or had to be life flighted to a hospital. Um, but she's made incredible progress. She's, out, she's since out of the hospital and she's, she's recovering. She just had her fifth birthday. Um, and, and every time we see updates, it's all smiles. So it's, it's great to see those updates. And if you want to see those updates, go ahead and subscribe to his YouTube channel, All RC Fun. Um, it's, it's great to just see those updates of how his daughter's recovering and how, how well she's doing. So if you want to win this motorcycle, um, free shipping anywhere in the contiguous U S. So they have a GoFundMe that they started to help raise money for the hospital bills. And the fact that, um, Trey and his wife have to be out of work to help care for their daughter. as She recovers. Um, so if you would like to win this RC motorcycle, all you have to do is donate $20 to that GoFundMe and that gets you into an entry for a drawing. So go ahead and go to her GoFundMe. I'll put the link in uh, the description and get yourself in for a chance to win. I think right now we've got around 50 entries. Um, so it, it's it's done well to help raise money for a train, train family, um, but we can do more. Um, so please, um, if you'd like to help out a little girl, and her family, uh, go to that link. And that leads me to the BBX, probably one of the more notable cars to come out from Tamiya this year. 
Uh, it's a really cool looking buggy. Uh, there are tons and tons of videos out on it already. We're super late to the game, even though we pre-ordered this on the first or second week of February from Tower Hobbies. So as you know, Tower Hobbies went through that system change and all those pre-orders were lost and I never bothered to follow up on it. So I just kind of let it go. I'm pretty over Tower Hobbies now. They've gotten, it's almost criminal how bad their point of sale system is now. Cause you place an order and you have no idea if it's going to get shipped, even new orders. Um, I ordered something last week for the TTO2. Uh, I got one thing that shipped and I got a notification that shipped and I got a tracking number. And the other thing says it's still waiting to ship. And I received that actually it showed up at my neighbor's house, but I received that a couple of days ago. So, shipments are just showing up randomly there's no indication that it's it's shipping there's no tracking information uh, if you go to their website they have a disclaimer that says if you place an order you cannot cancel your orders or change orders um, I, I haven't tried but I've heard that you can't even call into Tower Hobbies anymore it's it's by email or chat I've actually reached out to them via email chat and through their Facebook and I have not gotten a single response from them so it's basically a black hole for purchasing. It's, I've been shopping at Tower Hobbies for decades. I mean, this is one of the first hobby shops I ever bought something from um, outside of a brick and mortar. And uh, I, this is pretty bad the way they're doing business right now. And it's like, that's your only, that's all you have to do. You just have to sell stuff and ship it and let people know. And they can't even do that. That is your business model. That's how you make money. If you can't even do that right, then why are you still in business? Uh, so Tower Hobbies needs to get their act together because this is ridiculous. I, uh, despite, you know, the 20% the off coupons that they have is, is a huge draw and it's one of the main reasons I shop with them, but it's just not worth it anymore knowing that something like this that's been available for months, uh, you, you're not going to get it. Uh, and you're gonna, if you're trying to create content or for your channel, um, and this is a first world problem, but... <laughs> Um, it's just, I don't know, it's frustrating. So anyways, the car's still cool, and I think I want to actually build it versus sticking it with a stack of other kits that I haven't built. There's nothing new that you could really do with this if you're going box art. It's all been done, right? But I think I could do something pretty creative and cool that hasn't been done yet. And so, I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag yet. I need to kind of get things cleaned up in my shop and kind of recover from the speed runs and get this taken care of. And then I can start really digging in on this and seeing what I want to do. But um, there's two different directions I might go with the build. Um, but I'll leave it at that. <laughs> um, and that's all I got for a channel update. Um, there's lots of cool new YouTubers out there. Um, we're seeing them pop up from uh, the Poor Boys RC uh, TTO2 Speedrun Challenge. Um, check them out, subscribe to them. Um, they've got lots of cool videos of running their TTO2s. There's some really fast people out there, uh, but they don't really have a YouTube presence. And you know, if they're putting in the effort for these cars and making videos, um, go ahead and support them. If you're watching videos, you should be liking them and subscribing to them. Um, that's what I do. I figure if I'm gonna watch the content at the minimum it deserves a like <laughs> and if I see myself coming back to watching them or I just want to be notified um, when their next videos come out I'll go ahead and subscribe uh, and it's just I think it's the least that we can do for the free content that we're getting uh, to watch this cool stuff and keep us entertained and I will get off my soapbox thanks for tuning in and watching take care bye
<laughs> Had ourselves a little ollie there. <laughs> 